My name is Eva Encinas. I am the founding director of the National Institute of Flamenco, and our particular uh, production of La Estrella, I am, uh, along with my children, Joaquin and Marisol, one of the artistic directors. One of, uh, for years, before we were doing Estrella, I always thought it would be so nice for our professional company, which is the Hastros, the American Flamenco Repertory Company, to be able to dance along with some of our students because it would be such a, a rewarding experience for them and such an inspiring experience for our young students to be able to see these dancers up close. And so, yes, it's so wonderful to have Ijastros, and they're sort of sprinkled throughout the show because they're in um, the first, second, and third act. And um, so we, it's, it's, that's very exciting. And then we also try to bring in some guest musicians. We have a guest guitarist and a singer, both from Cordoba, Spain, and it will be Ankel, the guitarist, it'll be his second time with uh, Estrella. And then we have Isabel, who is, uh, will be here for the first time experiencing this. But it's um, going to be an opportunity for all of our students to be um, exposed to and get the opportunity to perform with these high-end professionals, which is not a common experience and for them and, and it will certainly be something that they will remember for a very, very long time. We would always do our end of the year recital with our students, um, which was more recital format, but always we included a little section which was called Los Posadas. And um, we decided that it would be really nice to make a production all based on that New Mexican tradition of posadas. Um, and then my daughter, she started doing some research into the early, of some early transcriptions of a play about the Three Kings. It was actually supposed to be the first written documentation story of the Three Kings from uh, very early in Spain. And so she started doing more research on this and found some of the original text from that play. And so the opening monologues of each of the kings is actually a reenactment of those monologues that were written in Old Spanish. And so then we started giving focus to each of the kings so that they could, we would know where they came from and know a little bit more about their origin. And then of course the gifts that the kings brought to the child being born in uh, Bethlehem. The spiritual message of hope and um, I think that no matter what our spiritual background is, uh, it's so interesting that, that every religion and, and faith has a story about the hope that we can look forward to. And certainly Christians and uh, people here in, in our part of the world are very focused and knowledgeable about this story. And so the nice thing about that is it gives us freedom to be able to play with our interpretation of that, but people can follow along because they know enough about the um, story around the birth of Jesus. And so however they want to interpret that, it can apply to them individually and they can go away after seeing Estrella being uplifted and remembering that we all have that hope of salvation, which is really a wonderful, wonderful message to give at this time of year.